you can't tell me this was your last song, dog. Like, you can't. You just can't tell me that shit. How you drop one of the songs in a decade, and the decade just started? Alright, so we're about to react to some G friends. And we're gonna check out their performance at NYEL, which I don't know exactly what it is, but when I looked it up, it's literally just like a, a Weverse high labels thing. And it's them performing Mago. I've seen them perform Mago, but I have not seen this one. And I really want to. Especially after recently I had put I got myself in like a G Friend binge. And this is my first G Friend reaction or G Friend video any at all since what happened. Obviously, G Friend are no longer moaning as a group as of now. You know? And I say that obviously with the most hopeful every every hopeful part of me out, right? Because I say as of now, implying that it will happen, right? When that news came out it was just so sudden and i had no idea where it came from i a g friend was like trending and i didn't know why g friend was trending i checked why g friend was trending and it was for all the wrong reasons how a group at their i must say their peak because we're not gonna pretend like mago wasn't next level alongside everything they have done up till now you know mago was insane the popularity was like up there i I still don't get it. And it's one of those things where like, I like, sometimes it takes a while for things to impact me, okay? It takes a while for things to impact me. And Time for the Moon Knight played the other day. And if y'all know me, that was my first comeback. I remember I was like, so, I was knee deep in all the, all the theories, like with everything. And it was playing and it got to me, bro. Cause that was my first G Frank comeback. It was my first album. It was hard to believe that that was actually real, you know? Like, I thought someone had to be trolling. Like, someone had to be trolling, but no. It was actually real. Of all the things that I've seen happen in K-pop, like, this one made the least sense of everything I've seen. G-Friend disbanded. Essentially, I, I didn't want to use the D word because I was going to mention how no news outlet really was using the D word, but I'm going to just say it for what it appears to be, right? You got Yerin who signed with Sublime um, Entertainment. Uh, which I am so, I'm happy for her. I don't believe any of the other members have signed anywhere, but I know Yetting did. Wishing her obviously the best and obviously just me wanting more different, right? I just, I couldn't believe what happened, dude. I couldn't believe what happened. And like I'm telling you, like, sometimes it takes, like not for it to hit, like, G Friend going away from the company, I mean, not to use the D word again, was already painful in and of itself. And when it happened, I felt it. I'm not gonna pretend like I didn't feel it. But then, like, obviously time goes on, and then, like I said, time for the Moon Knight play, like, on random, like, it was just random playing, and I'm just like, wow. All these songs, these bomb ass songs they've been dropping since I've been a fan, obviously, everything they've dropped before I was a fan, got taken away just like that? Well, not the songs obviously still exist, but, you know what I mean? It's almost, it's it's kind of scary when it comes to like other groups. When it comes to like other groups, it's like, yo, things could look like they're fine. And just like that, it's just over. You know, it, it was, I, don't, I haven't read specifics into why it happened. I'm pretty sure it's a, I'm pretty sure it's a mystery for everyone still. I don't know. Um, Fill me in if of anything you know or you've seen, but, for what I know from what I've seen, it's still a mystery. And when I was listening to Time for the Moon Knight, I decided to just, listen, y'all, let me find a different reaction to react to. Because um, if y'all remember back then when I wanted to do all the uh, immortal songs and stuff that I didn't get around to, why Why not? Why not? Um, Missing G Friend Hours did peak. And one of my biggest, obviously I'm going into react to live stage. And when y'all see me react to other groups live stages, what do I have in my hand? A light stick. One of my biggest failures of the person who called himself buddy is not buying a life stick in those three years. And not everywhere I check, it's sold out. And I have to become a member on Weavers because their thing is still on Weavers. And I know they sold their life stick on Weavers, but I don't know if it's still there. If you want to let me know that it's still there, that way I can pay to become a member and buy it, let me know. Because that's one of my biggest regrets in my three years of knowing G-Friend is not buying a life stick. I'm waiting so long to decide to buy it. Cause it's not like I never tried. Like there was times when I tried and it was always sold out. 
And then there was times when that, it was probably not sold out and I didn't check. There's a lot. A lot piled on. So just let me know. Let's check out the performance of my room. I want you to know, mentally, I couldn't take it. All of them aren't there. That OMG was missing. And I'm not going to come here to check out a performance that I have not seen that did not be all of them. So I'm going to go with a different one that I have not seen. And this is the one with the red fits. I know I have not seen this one. So let's check it out. There she goes. I watched that other one on my own. Hello? No, that feel interrupted. I feel interrupted. What was that? I literally refreshed right before we started. How dare they look this fire, okay? Like these these red Glittery fits are absolutely killer. Dude, I, I never, you know, I never check how many wins this song got. Cause they better have won every fucking week. Songs in a decade, in a decade just started. Well, it ended, right? It ends with 2020, right? It ended a decade like this, and it was already a song of the decade. Dude, these red fits are absolutely insane. You know what I haven't seen? They have like a blindfolded video from the practice room. I haven't seen that one. I've seen the regular dance practice though. Oh. It's very filthy, dude. Like, I don't know. Like, listening to Mago now is so different. Stop talking because I felt tears coming, dude. Why? Why, dude? Why? This is the song that gets dropped before. I don't even want to change the light. This is the last video I'm gonna record today. Yeah. I just, I don't, I, uh, please tell me that it really actually still doesn't make sense. Obviously there's times when like members are like, like I don't know, like like Mama Moo situation, someone didn't fully resign but extended for like, until like 2023 because like there's times when obviously there's like issues with like some members and like a company and things like that and then a member may leave but the rest of the group is still there um and i'm not saying all of a sudden i'm okay with that no but it's like just nothing bro it's fucking g friend like it's g friend oh, it probably is there's not enough money in the fucking world to sign g friend for what they're worth bro i, I swear to god 
I always knew that I'd go and make a video eventually, like just talking about like my feelings on this. It's just, it took me longer than I probably quote unquote should have, but it did get triggered, obviously. Like I said, it did get triggered. It did get triggered by what happened. Um, this thing's time for the Moon Knight. I actually got emotional towards the end of the song, dude. Like, like really just thinking of the fact that this was their last comeback. Can you believe they dropped this fucking song and it's their last comeback? And I like, and listen, listen, I'm not saying that as in like a hopeless thing. Like, the last comeback, they'll never come back again. You know, it's, it's not like, obviously, you know what I mean when I say that. It just sucks, dude. It just sucks because it makes no fucking sense at all. I got so much stuff for them. I, love, I follow them on, on Instagram. So I, I can see when they're doing shit. And obviously knowing uh, Yering signing with Sublime. Uh, I don't expect everyone else to sign with Sublime. But just to see what she gets up to. And hopefully see what the rest of them get up to. Dude, bro, look at all of them, bro. That shit hurts, dude. Like it's always, it's always in the moment. Like I may not check something out for a long time. Then when I check it out and it just gets... Uh, every, every feeling that I had when it happened is just there. Like it's all just rushed to my head all at once. That's what kind of made me emotional towards the end of the anime and the performance. <laughs>